Here's a simple concept for you from a trading perspective. Hi, it's Charlie giving you through a Saturday's video, but I'm actually recording Saturday's video on Friday morning before the non-farm payrolls and all of that. But this concept isn't really anything to do with whatever goes on on the day here on the stock markets. Um, this is a general trading concept and it's as simple as this, that a lot of the time we as traders, it's easy to get caught up in all of the nuances and the news and various technical things that may be going on. But at its core, when we're trading, a simple piece of advice to always keep at the back of your mind is what are we trying to do when a market is trending? So what should we be doing um, when it's pull, pulling back? So what we want to be doing is fade the short term trend, fade the short term trend, if I could actually spell, there we go, in favour of the long term or longer term, term trend. So you fade the short term in favour of the longer term. What does that actually mean? It means that if the longer term trend is to the upside, which it is on the stock market, um, then we've got the short term move, short term trend is to the downside. So we want to be looking for, I'm not saying just blindly buy it, you still got to have uh, a uh, an approach, uh, levels that you're going to be trading off of or whatever, but um, or you're waiting for a reversal, whatever it is, but um, you're looking to fade the short term. The short term is to the downside. So you're looking to fade that at some point in favor of the longer term trend. A simple concept, just one to remind ourselves of a lot of the time. And it tends to, um, of course, uh, work itself out, unless this becomes a major reversal, of course. But that's fine, because the other thing to add to that line is, fade the short-term trend in favor of the long-term trend until proven otherwise. So until proven otherwise, the trend here for the stock market is the upside. Some people watching this video may say, oh no, Charlie, I think it's topped out. That's fine. If that's your analysis and you're seeing this as a major reversal, that's fine. And then, in which case, then you're going to be using, you will have been using reversal techniques um, to trade this and maybe you're looking for more downside, whatever. But if you're looking at this from a technical perspective um, and you're saying, well, the, the overall trends to the upside, um, which is something which we cannot deny when we zoom out here, going all the way back to the lows of October 2022, um, then um, you would be looking to fade the short term trend or should be in favor of long time. Now, that doesn't mean to say that uh, the S&P here has to stop where it's at right now. This could comfortably pull back to what? This zone back here, 4,600 or so. So, but that just comes down to the nuanced or the, the, uh, the, the finer detail of what you look for as a trader. You might be saying, well, I'll look for some technical setups if we come into this prior price uh, high zone here where we broke out of previously. So basically a retest of prior highs fairly simple technical stuff and then you're looking for some confirmation some overlaps of support perhaps there as well I've got a 50 period moving average on here so maybe that comes up into that zone as well at that point those are all the finer details of, of how you're looking or, or where you're looking to enter but just keep that in the back of your mind fade the short term in favor of the long term until proven otherwise. Give us a thumbs up and a like if you um, like our videos here at CBT and by all means do subscribe to the channel because it does ensure that you get notifications every time a video goes out. Have a wonderful video, uh, <laughs> a wonderful weekend. I'll see you next week.